Hey, what's up everyone? A little bit of a shorter video today, but I wanted to show you some cool footage from a neighborhood. This is an area south of my uh, property. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 miles. And it's got such great uh, rock formations and there's all these little finger canyons all over the place. And this is the area where I found like a ton of petroglyphs a couple years ago and I was always looking for ruins. And then I came across a couple. I featured one in a video just about, I don't know, two weeks ago. This is another one I found that is just sitting on this little knife edge rock formation which is really cool. I, I looking at the at the footage here, I think that they cut little steps into the the rock to get up in there, but I haven't been able to get there uh, to go visit it myself personally. Plan to do so very soon. But this is part of the Prescott culture, which I have featured on my channel before. This a uh, offshoot tribe from the Hokan language tribes in uh, California that are on the coast. And they broke off in 200 AD, came over to this area and settled in Mount Hope. And this ruin actually faces Mount Hope. So I think it was probably like a religious site where they could go and you know perform religious ceremonies. But the Hokan or the uh, the Prescott culture, they, they were here from 200 AD to 1400 AD. And they began to build these these real nice uh, you know structures on these hilltop areas with great views around 900 AD. And prior to that, they just built pit houses. So I've been using my drone to go and, and find all these spots. And there was a place I saw on a map recently that looked to be interesting to me. And I, I thought, well, you know, all 4x4 over there, and this is the 4x4 trail to get to this location. I'll 4x4 over there and fly my drone over and see if I can find anything. And I actually didn't find anything. And then on the way back, my drone... Uh, crashed and so I had to go search for it I was searching around all over the place walking around on public land and then I came across this cool like little um, cave and it's big enough to where you can stand up in and there's a there's a uh, as we fly in here I'll, 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 I'll show you um, there's a, there's a spot in the back that looks like it goes back a lot further but I didn't dare venture in there um, to, you know into, into the into the, the back section but we are going to go into the front section here and I've been looking for caves around the area I've always been fascinated thinking of like man what would it be like to set up a little house inside of a cave and you know brick up the front of it and then have you know a little wood stove back in there and you know make a bed and stuff like that and I just think it'd be really cool to do something like that I, I, I don't have anything like that on my property but it's neat to find this stuff in the neighborhood and if you see back in there back on like the kind of the center part there's two there's two looks like two uh, areas that go back the one on the left is actually just a dead end but the one on the right goes back a long ways I was looking back in there with my flashlight and there are some animal droppings in here uh, one of them is a cow patty and so there was a cow up in here but then the other the three droppings didn't look like cow patties and I was just really apprehensive about going up in here so that's why I made sure to fly my drone into the the cave here to see if I could possibly spook anything out that was in there and I didn't see signs of any activity and the scat didn't look fresh and I figured oh you know it'd be all right for me to go up in there so let's go up in here and check this out and um and see what we can find I accidentally crashed my drone into the wall of the cave so we gotta go up here and get it I really don't want to go in here but I do think if there was any animals in here they would have spooked when I had the drone come in I think they would have come out and kind of seen what was going on it didn't look like there was a whole lot of stuff on the floor either so we're gonna go up here hopefully get this and we'll be good uh, I hate going in the caves though by myself there's definitely a trail going up here could be the cows though hey I'm gonna throw a rock in there Still here. I don't think there's anything in there. If there is, we got the bear spray. Oh yeah, there's definitely poop in here. Alright. Let's hope that nothing comes out. While we're here getting this. Oops. Got the drone. We don't have any animals falling in us. We're in good shape. That is kind of a cool cave, though. Yeah, imagine that you're 
chilling in the cave and you look out and you got that killer mountain over there. Things back in there that I'm concerned about. Looks like bear. So we're gonna get out of here. All right, so um, life goals, I wanna get a place that has a cave. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to build a little tiny house in there. Especially if it faces the west, like that cave that I, just, I was just checking out a couple weeks ago, because that, that's like perfect uh, for the afternoon sun, and you know, you got great access looking west, killer views and all that stuff, and that'd be a neat cave. I just wonder what the history is in there because it did look like there was, you know, on the sides of the walls, there's black on the top, which means there's, you know, a fire in there at some time. I'm wondering if at one point some native folks were, were camping out in there because there is a huge petroglyph site right around the corner from that. And it's in this, um, this like spillway for this wash area. There's all these rocks and it is literally covered for like, like every rock is covered. And there's some pretty neat petroglyphs back in there. So I'll probably go hike back to that um, after the snow melts because I, I took all that footage before the snow came. And, um, but everything is going good here. You know, I'm still just trying to stay positive with everything and uh, you know, just processing Sierra's loss and just reflecting on all the great times that we had. I didn't have the best night last night. I was pretty much up all night just thinking about her. And so today I've just been kind of chilling. I was gonna do a lot longer video for y'all, but I just don't have it in me today, so. But uh, I think tomorrow we'll either do a live stream in the afternoon or I'll have a video about how to keep your camper warm for like like some hacks you can do that are real cheap. That way you don't have to do anything like skirting your camper and things like that. Because you can, there's like just ways to block out the cold which are immensely helpful and it just helps you cut down on resources of keeping your, your camper warm in the winter time. Because we've had cold temperatures here. It's been like uh, two nights ago I think it was close to zero. And then last night it was down about 12 and it's, it's been chilly. But luckily we've got a warm bump coming here. And this week, I think on Thursday is when I'm going to try and either Wednesday or Thursday, I'm going to try and head out and go fly fish for a couple days and then come back for the weekend. So hopefully I have some really good footage from you all at that. And hopefully I have some chop to bring back to like cook up, which would be great. <laughs> so, but anyway, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you all have a good Saturday. We'll see you in the next video.